Welcome back to Budget Lawns, folks. Today, we're going to talk about 10 weeds that I've dealt with in my lawn. So don't go anywhere. I'm sure it's happened to you more than once. You've come across a weed in your lawn and you just don't know how to identify it and you just don't know how to take care of it either. Well, I've been there before and I've been pretty successful at identifying those weeds and getting rid of them from my lawn. So today we're gonna go through 10 weeds that I've dealt with at some point or another over the last few years in this house. And I'm proud to say that for the most part, my yard is weed free. Now these weeds that I'm gonna show you are not in any particular order, they're just random. We're gonna talk about some of the characteristics of each one, and then at the end, I'll tell you what I did to treat them both with pre-emergent herbicides and post-emergent herbicides. But for now, let's dive into weed number one. All right, weed number one, the arch nemesis for a lot of folks, and that is annual bluegrass. Here in my parts, we deal with poa annua. Um, it's a grassy weed, and it is a winter weed. So if you've got it in your lawn, and you're worried about it, rest assured, if you live in a hot area, it will be gone here before too long. But of course, you would like to just not have it at all. Um, it's pretty identifiable. It grows in big clumps. And here you can see in the picture that uh, it's got some seed heads on it as well. These are actually really easy to pull out of the lawn. If I see one, I'll just go out and pick it real easily. So that's one way to eradicate it just as time goes on. But really the best way to take care of this one is with a pre-emergent application. And that's how I've gotten it out of my lawn. And we'll talk more about that here towards the end. Let's move on to weed number two. Oh, weed number two, another foe too many, and that is crabgrass. Crabgrass is a, a grassy weed as well, but this one is a summer weed. And this one's the one that you would just rather not have at all. And the way you do that is through a pre-emergent, because once it's in the lawn, it's really, really tough to get rid of unless you attack it with a post-emergent herbicide right as it starts to come out, those little baby crabgrass. Because once you see, like in the picture, it starts getting more than two or three tillers, uh, it's just a beast to get rid of. So really want to tackle this before you even have it in the lawn. So you got to watch those soil temperatures and make sure you get your pre-emergent down in the spring before this germinates, because if not, it's not going to be a fun season with the old crabgrass. All right, you see though, grows in kind of a clump, spreads out, low growing. And when this stuff takes over, you'll uh, regret not putting that pre-emergent down. All right, let's keep moving. Weed number three. Weed number three is called hairy bittercress. <laughs> I don't know a whole lot about this one other than I've seen it in my lawn. It's a broadleaf weed. Um, and it's a winter weed as well. You know, some are just easier to describe than others because honestly, a lot of weeds just look the same in your lawn. So if you see something looks like this, it's hairy bittercress. Weed number four. Weed number four, white clover. Uh, you've probably heard me talk about it before, but that's what my lawn used to be was all white clover. I'm telling you, it was an infestation, another broadleaf weed. A winter weed as well. Man, I'm telling you what, it, this stuff is just nasty. I mean, when I had it in my lawn, it just drove me nuts. It would get all up underneath the lawnmower when it was wet, and you'd get it all over the sidewalks and the concrete and everything else, and I just hated it. But fortunately, not a speck of white clover in my lawn anymore. This one's really identifiable, especially by the white flowers that it will bloom. And then the white clover is a three leaf plant. Some people will tell you this is hard to get rid of. I would disagree. I got rid of it really easily in just one season. And I'll tell you what product I used here in just a little bit. But for now, number five. 
Number five, this one's the one that if you're on a walk with your kiddos, they might want to pick this flower because they think it's pretty, but it's not pretty in our lawns. This one you've probably been able to identify already. The yellow flowers kind of grows out. It's a broadleaf weed as well, a winter weed. What else can I say much more about dandelion? You know what I'm talking about here. Let's go on to six. Number six, wild garlic. If only we could cook with it. Now I've heard people online saying they've done it before. If you have, let me know in the comments below. How was it? Would you do it again? This is a monocot weed. And basically that just means a weed. It's a winter weed as well. I get these in my yard from time to time. Never really a bad overrun infestation with them. So what I'll do is I'll just go out and pick them just so you don't see them. I don't get the roots. It's just not a big problem for me right now, so I don't worry much about them. You'll see them, though. They stand out real tall over everything else in your lawn this time of year coming out of winter. And it looks like garlic from the grocery store. So... If you have any good ways to get rid of those, if you've had a bad infestation before, let folks know down below. But for me, not a big problem. So, keeping the train moving, lucky number seven. Number seven, I would be willing to bet that most of us have had this before, and that's yellow nutsedge. Another monocot weed. This one, a summer weed. Now, everyone will tell you, don't pick the yellow nut sedge. Don't pick them under any circumstance. Do not pick the yellow nut sedge. Look, I've used a post-emergent herbicide on it that helped get rid of it. And I have picked them with my hands. And I tell you what, the numbers of them in my yard from season to season keeps decreasing. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm just going to keep picking them if I see them because it doesn't seem like it's causing them to grow in number. But I understand what people are saying. The science tells you not to, but it's working for me, so I'm going to keep going with it. Uh, this one just, it's kind of addicting. You know, you know you shouldn't do it, but it's easy to just pull out. Uh, there's one with a seed head on it. Um, these are kind of, you know, glossy or, you know, smooth type of leaves. You'll know it when you see it, the yellow nut sedge, and you'll go, I wish I didn't have that one in my lawn, but it's not that big of a deal. Number eight, shepherd's purse, number eight. Kind of like the uh, hairy bittercress from earlier. Uh, I don't really know a whole lot about it. I look at the picture, and I know I've seen it in my lawn, and that's just about it. So if you've seen that, that's what it is, shepherd's purse, another broadleaf winter weed. You may be dealing with that right now. But I've seen in the past that the broadleaf weeds are actually pretty easy to get rid of, whether it be post-emergent or now pre-emergent, because I've seen some success there. I'll touch on that in just a second. But number nine, number nine, wood sorrel. You may confuse this with a clover, because that's what I did at first. But then you'll see these pretty little yellow flowers start popping up out of it, and after digging some further into other types of weeds, I realized I wasn't dealing with the clover. I was dealing with wood sorrel. Now, it might be part of the same family. I don't know. It's a broadleaf summer weed. Um, but I have found that the post-emergent herbicides did an okay job at getting rid of this. But the best way that I found to get rid of this one, uh, as I found with any weed, is with a pickle bucket in my own two hands. These have really, really shallow roots, and I could go out and just start picking them, and they would come out super, super easily. So if you see some yellow wood sorrel in your lawn, I would suggest using the old finger technique to get rid of it, but the post-emergent herbicides will do the trick to a certain extent. All right, last but not least, moving on to number 10. Number 10, spotted spurge. Uh, I see folks all the time uh, online with this weed in particular saying, what is this? I don't know what it is. It's popping up all over the place. It's another broadleaf summer weed and I've seen it in my lawn, but you know, it is really easy to pull out kind of like the wood sorrel. Um, I've not had a big issue with this one until it grows real low and kind of green. What would you call those oval leaf looking? It kind of has a red tint to it in spots. Uh, so if you see that, just try to get down there and dig it out. Um, 
I couldn't tell you much in the way of what herbicides will do for it because I've never had a huge infestation of it, but never been worried about this one in my lawn. What I have had, I've been able to pick it out by hand and it seems to go away. All right, so we've talked about 10 weeds and now you're wondering, okay, I've seen all these in my lawn, whether it be in the winter or the summer, I want to get rid of them. How did you get rid of them, Travis, from budget lawns? I'll tell you. To treat all these weeds in my lawn, I have used two products and two products only, both Spectracide products. Inexpensive from Lowe's. I've used their pre-emergent, the Spectracide Weed Stop for Lawns plus Crabgrass Preventer. And then I've used the post-emergent, Spectracide's Weed Stop for Lawns plus Crabgrass Killer. So I've done videos on the pre-emergent. You can go back and look at some of those. Uh, the results have been amazing. So where I saw a lot of those winter weeds in my lawn over the last few years, not seeing those this year. Super happy with those results. So it puts me in a better spot to start this season. And then if the pre-emergent does its job, then you really won't have to worry much about the post-emergent applications. Now, in the past when I didn't do pre-emergents, I did. I was, you know, doing, you know, broadcast applications and coming back with spot treatments. But I anticipate that maybe all I'll have to do this year is a couple spot treating applications for the ones that the pre-emergent missed. So if you're not familiar with what pre-emergent and post-emergent means, pre-emergent just means get them before they show up. Post-emergent means, oops, I didn't get them before they showed up. There the weeds are, now I gotta kill them. So you can prevent them with pre-emergent, or kill them with post-emergent. And I use these two Spectracide products for the money, for the ease of just running to a big box store and getting them. I'm super happy with these results. And if I continue to have weed problems or need to prevent weeds as I've done this year, these are the two that I will keep using. All right, folks, we've identified some weeds. We talked about how to deal with them, whether it be before or after they show up. I hope you got something out of this. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Thanks to all the subscribers who watch my videos on the reg already. Hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment, and tap the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. We'll see you next time here on Budget Lawns.